Okay, friends and family, this video is for you. This is about how to create a wallet with Daedalus. This is actually the newest version, 2.20. Um, if you had a wallet before, regardless of what it was, uh, Daedalus wallet, an older wallet, a Euro wallet, or a Harbor wallet, or a Nano Ledger, or Tezos, all right, you'd be able to restore the wallet here. And then it'll ask you for the passphrase, and then you can do what you need to do. Right, Shelly wallet, Byron wallet for your Roy, Deadless uh, Byron legacy wallet, Shelly wallet, Byron legacy wallet, Harbor wallet, both of them are Byron legacy wallets. Let's get out of that, but we're going to create a wallet. So you create the wallet, you're going to come here and you're going to give it a name. I'll start it out with test, test wallet. And then you're going to give it a password. Now they both match. Create wallet. It's going to ask you about the recovery phrase. Hit confirm. A 10 second countdown. Hit continue. Now, after that, it's going to ask you to write down these words. Once you write down these words and you agree that you've written them down, then you go ahead to the next, the next part. All right, this recovery phrase you don't want to lose. You want to keep this somewhere safe. Please make sure you write down the 24 word recovery phrase on a piece of paper in the exact order shown here. You can't mess up a word. If you do mess up a word, you're going to have to hit a back arrow and go back and start all over again. Right? So when you, when you write down these words, make sure you go through them one by one again and make sure they're in the exact order that they're in here because you're going to have to put them back in the exact order that they're displayed here. All right, so then we're going to hit yes, write down my recovery phrase. And then we're going to put the words in one by one, and I'm going to skip. All right, so after you put in the recovery phrase successfully, all right, it's going to show you the recovery phrase again in this box. Then you're going to hit, I understand that the simplest way to keep my wallet recovery phrase secure is to never store it digitally or online. If I decide to use an online device such as a password manager with an encrypted database, it is my responsibility to make sure that I use it correctly. I understand that the only way to recover my wallet if my computer is lost, broken, stolen, or stops working is to use my wallet recovery phrase. I understand that the only way to recover my wallet if my computer is stolen, lost, broken, or stops working is to use my wallet recovery phrase. And you click both of these. And you hit confirm. Then what's going to happen is that the wallet is going to need to sync with the blockchain. And you're going to see a little bar start to develop here, right? It needs to fill up. And then this is the percentage of it synced, right? I'm going to stop the video, pause it here, and then we're going to show uh, delegation. Okay, friends and family, so the wallet has synced to the blockchain, right? We don't see a bar right here gaining traction. We also notice that there is no percentage in syncing time. So it's all done. So this is the test wallet. If we had any ADA, it would show a total amount here and here. It would show pending transactions if it was or money Cardano out or Cardano in. It would also show a total number of transactions here. In the send section, this is where we would send our ADA out from. We would send ADA out from here to the wallet address, paste it right here. And the amount of ADA that we were going to send out would be posted here, right? We'll type it in here. And then in this corner right here, would tell us what the fee was, and then we'll just click next. And the next option that will come up would be to enter in our spending password. And we wanted to receive ADA. We will use one of these wallet addresses. And then as stated here, your wallet address. Share any of these wallet addresses to receive payment. To protect your privacy, always use a new address when requesting funds. New addresses will be automatically generated after you receive funds to the address listed here. Transaction history. This is where all our transaction history will be. That's sending, receiving, and more. So the more section with this little gear it gives settings, and in the settings, we can change the name of the wallet. 
They said let's change the name to Wallet, so we're gonna change Wallet. You out of it? Now look, the Wallet's name has changed in both sections. Last updated about an hour ago. We can change that, which is the password if we wanted to. And then they recommend that you verify the wallet recovery phrase every six months. This is so that way you ensure you one have the phrase, two you know what it is, and three nobody else has it. Right. So this green check will show when it's fresh, and as it turns from green to red, you'll know you need to change. You know you need to re-verify the the passphrase. Keep your recovery phrase safe and in a secure location so that way no one uses it. Right. And and uh, transfer their funds from your wallet. To this, two the exact same wallets can exist at the same time. Local authorities, but the chance of you getting your funds back is little to none. Right, so the next section would be what ITN is. So this little section here is where you redeem your incentivized testnet rewards. If you participate in incentivized testnet and earn rewards by running a stake pool or delegating your stake, you can use this feature to redeem your rewards as ADA on the Cardano mainnet. You will need the wallet recovery phrase for the incentivized testnet wallet used to earn rewards and an existing mainnet wallet in Daedalus to which the rewards will be transferred. This wallet will also be used to pay any applicable transaction fees. All right, so then you put the wallet recovery phrase there. You redeem your rewards. You then select which wallet you want to send it to. These are all Shelly mainnet wallets. And then you select two check boxes and hit continue and you'll in seconds get your incentivized testnet rewards transferred over to your Shelly wallet, mainnet wallet. Now for the good part, staking the delegation center. When this first pops up, this lets us know that only 22% of Shelly's mainnet block production is by decentralized pools, right? The remainder is run by the federated pools. As time goes on, this number will increase and then that will decrease the amount of federated nodes of producing blocks. So the delegation center lets us know the current Cardano epoch, right? The current slot, total slots, and next Cardano epoch starts in, and that's the time left, right? We have 20 hours and 20 something minutes. Changes to the delegation pre preferences will take effect after both the current and next Cardano epoch have completed. Epochs on Cardano mainnet last five days. Any change may may now will take effect in five days, 20 hours, and 24 minutes. Right, so that means instead of waiting 10 days, you would only wait five days and 20 hours and 24 minutes to start receiving rewards, which will happen an epoch in delay. Right, so if you delegated to Black Star Pool today, right now, you'd you'd wait to be active five days and 20 hours, and then you're stake would become active with the pool. So let's go over to stake pools. So here gives us tiles of total of the total amount of pools that are registered with Daedalus. So right now is the current total amount of 1,022 pools in Daedalus. And these little red boxes indicate that these pools will be retiring soon, right? For whatever reason, the individual decided to retire the pool. Maybe they just wanted to test, test it out and uh, see what it was like. And they, you know, now they don't want to mess with it anymore. But as you see, we still have a Black Star staking pool. It's still available for everyone. We do need the delegation in your staking. If you have an opportunity to stake with us, would be highly appreciated. We have zero fees. And we have a pledge of 450,000 ADA. But any one of these pools are fine. Some of these pools are saturated. Uh, IO Global does not need your delegation. You would get better rewards and support the community a lot better if you cho chose any one of these great pools from these great pool operators. If you didn't know the ticket, type in a name. And anything that was registered with the first, like my pool, Black Star, we registered on the black will come right up and you would have that tile to choose from. So now if you want to stake one of these pools, you would select the pool, delegate to this pool, 
right? So you're going to select the wallet, state pool selection, and then delegation confirmation. Those are the steps. So we'll hit continue. We'll choose a wallet. I'll choose uh, Cardano test. Hit continue. All right, now it tells me that I'm already staked, so I can't do anything else. But if I did want to stake to this pool, or if I wanted to change pools, I can. It gives me options of pool to change to. Let's see, another good pool operator, which is operated by a gentleman named Chris, and his pool is master. So I want to select him and hit continue. Now it gives me the option to put in my spending password, the fee I will be charged, and then I would hit confirm. But we're not going to do that right now. Then hit cancel. And go over to rewards. So we haven't received any rewards yet. We haven't made any blocks. And info, again, just gives us the general information about the decentralization of Cardano and the amount of federated nodes still producing blocks and the amount of uh, decentralized nodes producing blocks. 22% pools, independent pools versus 78%. All right, and that's it, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and share and uh, spread the word. And I hope this was informative to you. Have a great day. Goodbye.